Hi everybody, welcome to lesson number two in the beginner tutorials for Microsoft Word. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to format text, insert clip art and word art, and align your text. As you can see, this is an example of the skills that I've just mentioned, and this is something that I utilize in my first grade classroom. It's a media center rubric slash checklist that my students use when they're evaluating themselves on their behavior in the media center. You can see that it just has a word art title, some clip art, and some different text in different fonts. It's a very simple document. I'm going to show you step by step how to create it. I will be using another sample to show you how I got to these through these steps without wasting time by typing all of the text. I already have the text here and some clip art. I will show you how to insert it all and, and format it, but rather than waste time uh, typing sentence by sentence, we're all adult educators. We've been teaching for a while. We know what's suitable for our ages and of students in our classroom and what material we teach. So I'd like you to follow along with me. I will be giving you time at the end to create your own sample that you will be uploading onto our uh, Google site that others will be also able to access. Uh, we love to share our information and it will also show that you've practiced and that you understand how to uh, attain these skills. So let's go ahead and get started. Notice that my document, uh, I'm going to go starting with the formatting text first. I have some smaller text and I have some larger text. These sentences up here the, um, that are a little bit bigger, I want to format them by changing the color, the font. I want to adjust where the text falls on in the document. So if I highlight this first sentence, I can do all of my changes without having to undo this highlight. I can change the font. And I can change it to, let's go with this font. I can change, I can underline it. I can change the color by clicking this A and there's a little black line underneath it. I can click it to be red. I can change the size in one of two ways. I can click this arrow next to the number and I can make it bigger. I can make it bigger by clicking the grow font, uh, which is a symbol that has an A with an arrow pointing up to grow the font to make it larger, or I can shrink it down to make it smaller. For the purpose of this, I'm not going to use an underline. I'm just going to keep it bold. I've changed the font, I've changed the color, and I've changed uh, the size. I unclick it, and I see that I would like this sentence in the center of my paper. Each of my um, sections of the checklist or rubric, the titles, I like to put in the center. So if I highlight that sentence, I come up here to the paragraph part of the toolbar and I click the center alignment. It brings the sentence right into the middle. There are different uh, options you have. You can click it to the left. You can center it. You can justify it to the right, or I'm sorry, you can align it to the right, or you can have it justified. Um, I personally like center. It's really what your preference is. So I've made changes to this sentence. I'm going to go ahead and highlight down here. I'm going to keep it the same size and the same font, so I'm going to change my font. I'm going to change it to maybe this to be a blue font. I'm going to keep my size the same, and I'm going to center this sentence in the middle. Same is going to go for this sentence. Maybe I'll change it to an orange. I'll center it and I'll change the font. And finally, if I highlight this sentence, I'll change this to a green and I will center it and change the font. And there you have it. So I've taken black text and I've turned it in added color. I've changed the font to make it a little bit fancier. And I've moved, uh, I've aligned my text into the center of my document. Now, how do I insert clip art? Well, if I take away these faces, there are two options that you can use to insert clip art. The first thing you can do is go into insert clip art and you can search for the type of clip art you're looking for. Being that this document has to do with different types of faces, smiley faces, you can type sad face, happy face, uh, straight face, a wow face. 
I personally like to go on to the internet and find my clip art. There's much more of a variety and to me it just is simpler. If I want to do that, I'm going to keep this document open. I'm going to click down into my internet and I'm going to, it's going to bring me to Google and that's the website, uh, the search engine that I, I prefer. You can use Yahoo, Google, um, and what you're going to do is click images and you're going to type as if you were typing in, I'll give it a second to come up, as if you were searching the web, uh, the web for, you know, articles on sad faces or happy faces. So images brings you just to the clip art or the images. If I type in sad face clip art, notice I'm going to have a variety of different sad faces. Okay, I'm going to find the one that I like best. I'm going to click this red face. Now, I click. And as we learned in the last tutorial, we can do the same thing with the right clicking and copying and pasting as we did as we practiced in Word. We'll give this a second to come up. Sometimes it takes a little longer. Okay, I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy image. Then I'm going to come back down here and open up my document. Now let's say that I want to insert my clip art into this space of the document. I can control V, which is a paste. Give it a minute. And know it there we go. Okay. Now in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to format this image even more. But this is an awfully big face to fit in the small section of my document. So if I click on my sad face and notice that there's four corners that come up, I can drag to make it small. That's a good size, maybe even a little smaller. Okay. And I can click back home. And there we go. I've inserted my clip art. I, again, like things centered sometimes, so I will come up here. Now, if the image has to be clicked on, you have to see this little squares around the image. Click center, and it brings you to the center of your document. So now, we've inserted clip art, we formatted our text, and we would do the same if I wanted to insert a straight face. Maybe I would insert a happy face here. Maybe I would insert a wow Mrs. Frasco look at this face here. Okay, so if I'm going to do one more to show you again if you'd like to do this with me. I'm going to go open back up in the, in the internet. I'm going to go to images. I'm going to type in straight smiley face clip art. Give it a moment to load. And you'll be able to choose from a variety of straight face clip art. Again, we click the image, we right click it, we copy it, and then we're able to paste it into our document. For some reason, the internet is moving just a little bit slowly. So I think I'm going to move on to the next phase of our project and we can always go back and add some more clip art. Um, let's see. Now, once I've inserted my clip art, I can click enter and maybe now is where I want to type in. Obviously here I have the different characteristics that would show that I did not try in the library or the media center and I need to make better choices. And I have three different options. Now if I want to take away these little bullet points, I can just simply, I was fooling around on the computer, I can click enter, I didn't use a marshmallow voice, click enter, I didn't follow directions. And that, my friends, is what we have in the sad face category of behavior. If I wanted to change the color here, I can highlight the entire section. Maybe I want to change it all to red. Maybe I want this whole part of the document to be red. That's fine. Here, I perhaps want to have it all blue. Here, perhaps I want to have it all orange or burnt orange. And here, I can have it all green. Okay, and there you go. Again, you can add uh, as much clip art as you'd like. You can center it um, by clicking your cursor. That's where the image will be inserted. And then you can come up here and click um, wherever you want to locate it on your page.
The last thing that I did in this document was I created a word art title. Again, you can simply type a title that says, How did I behave in the media center today? Okay, and maybe I want to highlight this sentence and I want to center it. I can, I can add a fancy title and I can get rid of this. And what I would do is go to insert and I would come over here to word art. Now again, because I'm working in a 2010 version of Microsoft Word, your toolbar is going to look a, diff a little bit different than mine. My options come across my screen. If you're in the 2003 to 2007 version, you will click insert, then I believe it's picture, then it will, if you move your cursor over, it will say insert word art. So I'm going to insert my word art and I want it to look like a rainbow style. It's called word art style 16. And it will bring you to the screen that says your text here. You would type in the title of your document. How did I behave in the media center today? Okay, that's what I want. You can change the size here as well if I want to bring this down to a smaller size. I can change the font to be a different font. Even though I'm using a word art, I can still change my font. Because I'm working with first graders, I like to keep the font as easy to read as possible. I can bold it. Okay, I can italicize it, whatever I'd like to do. I click OK, and there becomes my title in word art. I've added a title, clip art, and I've changed the font. That's all we have today, folks. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to format your clip art, how to move your word art around the screen, uh, and things of that nature. What I would like you to do right now is think of something that you can use in your classroom, either it be a parent letter or a flyer or something you project on your screen or a document that you give your students, like a worksheet that they would complete that has different fonts, different color text, different styles, different sizes. Inserting a clip art image, it does not have to be five images, it can simply be one image, and a word art of some sort. Um, preferably, probably the title would be the easiest at this point. When you're finished, please upload it to our Google site so you get credit for practicing these skills. If at all, at, if at any time you need to go back, please feel free to stop and start this video at any point that you need. Again, uh, every video will have a PDF or a file that has the directions uh, step by step for those who need to follow a written format as well. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to um, um, working with you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.